Hey guys, welcome to the Floral POS. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to use our new barcoding system for orders. Um, I want to kind of put a video out there before we release the update so you guys can kind of see how we're how we're approaching this. And then the uh, probably uh, Saturday or Sunday, we'll finally push out the update so you guys can use it. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the uh, barcoding. So uh, where where have we placed barcodes? So in the in the past we allow you guys to do barcoding inside of the um, inventory. And that was pretty neat. It allowed you to select your inventory and quickly add items into your shopping cart. But so uh, we've had some of our floors actually ask us, can we throw a barcode um, on all of our work tickets and combined tickets and receipts so that we can quickly scan it and pull up an order or scan it and do other things with it. So um, we did that. So let's take a peek at where they're at. So I'm gonna open up an order here. So I'm going to pick up, doesn't matter what, if it's a pickup or delivery or whatever, if we click on receipt and I hit the uh, print preview on the receipt, it's going to be at the bottom. It's pretty neat. You can scan that and it'll work. Um, if we go into our work ticket, it's going to be up top here. And then if you go on our combined tickets, they're all over the place, depending on what ticket you're using. This particular ticket is going to be the combined or the Dove ticket. So if you scroll to your right here, we have one here and one here. So this is the work ticket side, this is your delivery ticket side. Um, that's basically similar for all the other combined tickets as well. I'll let you, I'll let you guys discover where they're at in, on the RTI and where they're at on the Eagle and all the other forms, which is pretty cool. So that's where they're at. So where can you use these barcodes? So I'm gonna, I have a couple of barcode uh, receipts in my hand right here. So I'm gonna actually open up a um, the order browser, and you can just open it up, and you can start scanning. So I'm looking for order number 603. I'm gonna scan my barcode. It automatically finds order 603 and pulls the order up. So now you can work in it. Let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go grab another order. Order number 602. There it is, that easy. And then order number, what do I have here? Um, order number 601, just gonna scan it. Boom, now we can get in the order and start working it, which is really neat. So that's your order browser. Um, the actual barcode um, area is down below here. It's, it's actually flashing. So when you go into your order browser, it's automatically there already. If you start playing around and and pull the, uh, the cursor out of there, if you try scanning now, it's not gonna work. You gotta make sure you put your your cursor back in there to scan. If we scan up in here, it'll just it'll it won't do anything. So make sure your cursor's in here to scan for a barcode. But automatically, when you open it up from default, it's there. It's waiting for you to scan. So the next area we can go into is the 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 pickup area, which is kind of neat. So if we go into system management and we go into pickup manager, so this is kind of a neat thing. Again, it's flashing here already, waiting for you to scan the barcode. So let's say we wanted to confirm all three of these pickups. So I have the three pickups in my hands. It could be a work ticket, it could be a receipt, or it could be whatever you got, whatever has a barcode that has the orders in there. So I'm gonna scan one and hit yes. I'm gonna scan another one, hit yes. Oops, I gotta, boom. And I'm gonna scan the last one. Mark it as, there you go. They're all marked as picked up, which is pretty cool. So that's that easy. That's in the pickup manager. Let's go into your delivery manager. So again, it's waiting for us. So let's say that we want to start delivering some orders. We have tons in there. We have the orders in our hands. So now all we have to do is click on the barcode. It's going to add these orders into your trip. There you go. All three are added. Now you can add your driver and you can save the trip and, and send them on their way, which is pretty neat. So that's the delivery manager. Last place that we do it is the design manager. So this is kind of a neat little thing. It's, it doesn't really do much. Um, we're going to select uh, order 602 by scanning it. It's going to select the order. And now at this point, um, it's selected and we can say stop, start, start, stop, whatever, assign a designer and all that stuff. But one thing we did change, uh, because a lot of you don't put the start time, is we allow you to click on stop. And that automatically, oops, I got to select a driver, I'm sorry, the designer, I'm sorry. Let's do that. Oh, that's, that kind of ruined the, let's do it again. Here we go. 
So if I select the designer and then click on stop, it's going to automatically give you a start and stop time at the same time rather than make you click on start and stop. I mean, I know it's only like an extra click, but it is an extra click to save you guys time. So you click on that. Now it's saved. So it automatically puts your start and stop time or start and, and finish time at the same time, which is pretty neat. So that's kind of that, that area. So um, I think that's about it. So that's basically barcodes. So now we allow you to um, scan barcodes inside the order browser, the designer manager, the delivery manager, and pickup manager. So it's kind of neat. It's a coming in version 6.2.25. Um, we're going to have this available this weekend. So hopefully the second or third of March. If you have any questions, give us a call at 888-865-9768. Email us at support at thefloralpos.com. Or you can click on the smiley face, as always, and leave some feedback. Until next time, guys, we'll see you. Take care.